make a fight, you have to kill us. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillah My name is Amin Abdul Awl. Everyone here calls me Sheikh Amin. It's a title of a distinction when you have some form of Islamic education or when you are responsible for a lot of people. Tonight we're doing something called the Midnight Run. It's been in existence now for maybe 20 years or so, in which different people, different organizations go out and they feed and clothe the homeless. We got hats, gloves, about five, six dozen scarves. We made about 250 to 275 sandwiches. We try to make sure we got either coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. This run is gonna be hot chocolate. The first run was in 09 with the Jewish Theological Seminary. What I've learned from working with them is that what we can do right here, right now, to prove that we are brothers and we work hard to help other people together. And now we do it every couple of months. When we go out and we feed and clothe them, give them toiletries, blankets. We make it our business to give them things that we think we would want, things that we would need if we were living on the street. And when they see a blanket there, wow, you can give them a blanket, that's a big deal because now they know tonight I might be in a box, but I won't be cold. We try to bring enough to feed maybe 150 people um, and as many clothes as, as, we, can, as we can bring. And we, we never have any food left over. The reason that we do that is because America has a warped sense of understanding of Muslims. And we thought that we should represent the Muslims in a better light for society so that they could see what Muslims are really like. In giving supplies to the people, one of the things that I'm mindful of, and I think we're all mindful of, is, is that human aspect. It definitely helps you remember that um, the people that you're serving are people just like you. Whatever circumstances or turns of events have left them in an unfortunate position, but um, you really get to see that you know, in many ways that they're, they're just like you. When they look in your face and you've handed them something that's of value to them, that they can really use on the street, it's a big deal. And our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, say, when you give charity to someone, you should say thank you to the one who is receiving the charity, instead of the other way around. Because if they're not there to receive the charity, then how can you get the rewards for it? So this is the way we look at feeding the homeless people, is that they are there and they are helping us more than we're helping them. Thank you. Jazakallah. I do feel passionately about sharing the message of, of Islam, but not with words so much. When we go out, we don't go out with the intention of talking to them about religion. Then sometimes, because they recognize us as Muslims, they start to ask us questions. Everything that we do, you know, as far as fasting, praying five times a day, you know, all the pillars of Islam, everything that we're doing tonight is going to uh, illuminate every pillar of, 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 of Islam. Regardless of the race or the religion or the gender of the person that you know, you're serving, you, you begin to feel and realize that bond that you share with them. It really makes you, forces you to kind of uh, take account of how much you've been given. 32, right? Yeah. Actually going out and being hands-on and distributing it, it's really fulfilling for your mind, body, and soul. Like your body feels you going out and actually feeling with the homeless man. Your mind is at peace because you know your time, money, and effort that you have donated towards this great cause is going to the right place. We see a need and we're filling a void. As long as I have the opportunity, I'm gonna help them because I'm, you never know when it's you. I, I've been homeless, so I, I know what it's like.